Right, guys, so something a little different. I've just been to a fishing tackle shop that I go to, Bobco in Leeds. And somebody asked me a while ago what an easy float setup is. So I thought the very first one I ever used was one of these. Not perfect, but it gets you going. So it's just, it's all in one. You get your float stops, your float, your hooks, your wire trays, your lead, your float stops, the lots. I thought I'd just go through and set it up for you. I know the majority of you know how to set up a rig. There'll be some people don't. So this is for you guys. For the rest of you professionals, you may as well switch off now. So let's get this open and see what we've got in there. I remember for using this and it would it were like a massive help to start. It was just like a nightmare. So we've got a float, 15 gram float. We've got, ow, I found the wire trace. We've got a wire trace. Now, I always say don't buy cheap wire traces but I found when I had this it were all right so you've got your wire trace there and you've got your bait flags on which I like my bait flags I only use bait flags for one reason and that's for the barbed hook I put that on there so you know where it is when it's flapping about in the pike's mouth just to keep away from it and it comes with a swivel already attached there so that's the float and that. You get a little lead, a little sinker lead. I don't know what weight it is. 12 gram, I think. It's only a tiny little weight. But that's enough for ponds, stuff, rivers. You need something bigger. Um, but I can always go through that. If you want me to go through that, you just tell me in comments below. So there's your sinker. And we get a little plastic pot. Let's see what you get in here. Bloody hell. How are you supposed to get into this? Jesus. Oh, there's, there's tape on it. So in here, rip it open, rip it open. Go on, lad. In here you get, oh, I've just dro <laughs> dropped some on the floor. You get four beads. I'm showing you three, because one of them's on the floor and they are chasing around looking for it. Right, it's here, I got it. I got it. Bead. Got some float stops there. Don't know how many you get them for. You get, you get plenty. You get six of them. And buffer beads. Show you where your buffer beads go. So, for this, I've just got my reel and I'm just going to thread it on to some line. I've just got an old reel here. I would just love that sound. Right. You can't even really see this because I'm using mono on here. So to start with, you need a float stop. So these are your float stops, these little rubber things. So in it, I mean on it, to get them off of here, it took me a while to figure this one out originally, you thread your piece of mono through that little hoop, he says. You thread that through your little hoop, bring it round. I always like to use two. Moisten it a bit with a bit of saliva. So just slide, slide your float stop on like so. There you can see it on back at wall there, can't you? So that's your float stop on. Just pull that up. Then you want to pop, pop a bead on. It does actually tell you on the back of the, oops, on the back of the card how to do it, but I'm just showing you. So you've got a little hole in your bead. 
Just thread that through. I hate mono, you can't see it. Especially when you've got eyes like mine. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Talk amongst yourselves, guys. Just, <laughs> just trying to do this. It's easy, you know, is this? Oh my God. I'll tell you something, I always put two on when I'm really fishing for pike, but on this occasion, that hole is tiny. There, woohoo! So we've got a bead on, so that goes then up to your float stop. God knows how I'm gonna go on with this. Then you thread, thread your float on. And with this, you go your red bit first. And you thread your mono down. You wonder why I don't use mono. Can't even see it. And that should pop out at the bottom there. And you just pull that on and then you've got it like so. So far, so good. God help me not in this stuff. Then you need, where are we? I've got all my bits all over the place here. You need another Another bead, that went on easier. Get another bead, so that sits at the bottom of your float there. And then we want on a little lead to sinker. So thread on, getting good at this now. Thread on your, thread on your little sinker. And then you go for your little buffer bead. So that threads on with the open end, the big open end, where are we? Open end aiming downwards because that is gonna slide over, over the swivel. So that's on there. So then what we need to do, now there's plenty of videos on YouTube about fishing knots, how to tie fishing knots. I'm going to show you, well, I'm going to show you what I think is probably the easier knot to use. So I, I, I don't even know if I'm going to explain this because I'm not going to explain it very well. Push your line through the top of the swivel and come back on yourself. Grab both halves like so. Then wrap around about five times. I sort of use my mouth for this as well. So you need to wrap it around. One, two, three, four, five. Moisten it as per usual with a bit of saliva. Then just pull it slowly down. And that'll all tighten up down there. And there you have it. And there you've got your trace on there. So you've got now, what have we got to have a look? So this is your kit. You got your swivel, your swivel, your um, stop knot. Stop knot. You can use a stop knot if you want. 
you got your stop bead on there, then you've got your float and your bead down to a little weight, and that weight goes up and down as well. And then you've got it tied on there onto your wire trace. So that basically, basically, is it. It's a simple setup, it's easy to do. It cost me, what did it cost me? It cost me £4.49. And it tells you, actually, how to do it all there. So it tells you just there how to do it. A little picture of it, how it all goes on. But yeah, like I said, I think you can get them cheaper online as well, but I like to support the local tackle shops because they struggle enough as it is. So yeah, that's it really. So I just thought I'd like to share, share that with you and that's a leader one. They've been out for years of these and that's a 15 gram pike inline float kit. Like I say, when you get a bit more confident with it all, you can make your own, your own wire traces. Some people even make their own lead weights, but I can't be bothered with all that malarkey. So yeah, that's it. Simple setup. It's cheap. It's easy to go. It gets you out fishing. But always remember, if you're going pike fishing, no matter how old you are and you don't know what you're doing, please go with somebody that knows what they're doing. Because pike fishing can turn out bad for the fish if you don't know what you're doing striking and all that so yeah so that with it i just thought i'd like to share that with you so if you and guys are interested in doing it and you want to have a go and and i bought this i don't even do any bloody lure fishing don't know why i do it so i've got a salmo nine quid should have been 16 so we'll give that a go it's a sinking jack black widow have it nice and bright so yeah that's it thanks for all the new subscribers i've had plenty i'm pleased with them um i'll try and keep some videos coming i've obviously got to go catch some fish to keep the videos coming but yeah so don't be scared of setting all this up it's quite easy once you know how. Be brave. Right, that's it guys. I'll catch you all later, hopefully on the bank with a fish. Yeah, that's it. All this mess tidied up now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Anyway, thanks for subscribing. Press like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Bye.